Yeah, the feeling's good. It, lads are pretty relaxed, I think. Um, you know, sometimes you can sort of build these games up too early in the week and, and um, you know, come game day, find yourself shattered and before you've even started. So it's been good, you know, it's been pretty relaxed. We, we obviously put, we had, a, we had a tough stint in France on Friday and uh, I think that will stand us in great stead for, for what's to come. Um, the boys are in good nick, uh, mentally pretty good. And um, you know, I'd say we're confident, but you know, not, not with an arrogance, I think. Um, we feel that if we play as well as we can, we can cause them problems. And, and um, you know, we did that in the semi. I felt defensively we can improve on, on what we did in the semi. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we can do that on Friday. Yeah, yeah, the Wigan, uh, they've been a very consistent, a good team. They finished top of the ladder at the end of the regular season. Uh, you know, so it, it, they've got some things going right there. Sean Wayne's got thing, some things going right for him and his team. Uh, the team have performed every single week and, you know, you've got to admire them. They're relentless with some of the things that they do in attack and I, th I think we probably all know what they do in attack. You've got to stop it though. Uh, and it's not easily done and they've got the big fella out the back, Sam Tompkins, who's, who can, who can, you know, break the games for them. So, you know, we've got our hands full. It's a, it's a huge challenge this Friday. Like I said, it's, there's not an arrogance about us. Uh, there's a confidence in the fact that we've beat Wigan already this year. Yeah, they beat us twice in the league, but um, we feel that we can cause them some problems if we play as well as we can now. To find that 10 out of 10 performance from everybody um, is really tough. And, and um, as you've seen with the whole host of sports every weekend, to get 10 out of 10 in every player, in every position, is really difficult, but that's what we're striving for this week. That's what we need. Well, we're confident. Obviously, we, you know, we'll be confident against Warrington and St. Helens. At this stage in the competition, no matter who you pick, you're playing against a quality team and there's nothing you can do about it. But obviously, we went to Edinburgh and put 50 or points up them as well, so that'll be in the back of the mind. And uh, the team they beat in the semi final wasn't us. We didn't play that well. You know, Leeds fully deserved that, you know, even though some of the tries were a little bit iffy. They fully deserved the win. We was ordinary that day, and you know we want we want a chance to put it right against a, a against a quality Leeds team, really well coached by Brian McDermott, a man I admire greatly. Like Kevin Seinfeld and Jamie Peacock, absolute warriors in our game, and you know players have a lot of respect for. Um, I think I don't think there's too much to to be said about it. Really, I think anyone you play at this part of the season, they're going to be a quality team, and I think uh, the coaching and the senior team made the mind up a while ago. Whoever there was uh, the lowest place, I was just going to take them, but. I've said all along, these are quality teams. They're here every year, they get to the finals, so we have to be on our game to, to beat them. Yeah, massive. Uh, they're a great team, we're going to especially at home. Um, their fans are brilliant for them and uh, really make it uh, difficult for other teams to go down there. So it's going to be a big ask for us, um, but like I said, we're full of confidence, we're all looking forward to it. Um, that's what players are all about. So uh, we're going to go there with high expectations of ourselves and uh, really give it a good go. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think. Uh, it's funny because as, you know, as we stand here in the rain now and it's gone a bit dull, um, you can sort of sense it around this place that um, it's business time and um, you know hopefully we can be good enough Friday and, and um, you know what's at stake is huge and um, yeah definitely exciting you know, to get a chance and uh, an opportunity of being 80, 80 minutes away from a grand final, 80 minutes away from playing at Old Trafford is the season hinges on it for us, I suppose, so um, we're in a great position. Um, they're all doing really well. We had a couple of days in the lakes, uh, non rugby related. It was all that like, was walking, orienteering, and a bit of canoeing, and the lads loved it. A bit of time down and just really enjoyed each other's company. And now we're back in, it's I've been the weekend off, and we're back into a normal week because the process doesn't change for us. You know, we stick to the same processes of no matter who we play. So um, we're on to Leeds this week. It's a massive game. and. You know, it's. Uh, I don't need to crank it up. I've got a lot of experienced people on my team, and they know it's an important game. But if we stick to the correct processes, what we need to go through, then we'll, you know, we'll give our chance a good, uh, give ourselves a good chance to win. It is, yeah. That was a massive achievement for us to get the league leader shield at the, at the start of the year. Especially, we set out that was the main one because it, it shows consistency in our team. So, but in a couple of years' time, no one will remember who wins the league leader shield, who wins the grand final. So, we we know that. We feel that we deserve it, but we've got to go. We've got to go and take it off Leeds starting Friday. Yeah, we, you know, we. Kevin Sinfield said at the start of pre-season last year, uh, don't think about defending your title. Think about going out and attacking it and get it again, like we've never won one. And in fairness, we've had that philosophy all year. I know a lot gets made about the Rhinos running form and all that type of thing. And you know, there's uh, 
there's an idea out there that we're not really bothered about certain league games because it's, we're only going to get it right at the back end of the year and they couldn't be more wrong. Uh, it hurts when we lose. Uh, there's no headlines in the game like when Leeds Rhinos lose a game. Everybody likes to you know, read and talk about that. Uh, and we've been just going for it all year and it, sometimes we haven't been good enough and sometimes we haven't got it right and sometimes we've been great and sometimes we've been sensational this year. Uh, but I, would, yeah, I, I, I echo what Zach says, our desire and our, uh, you know, uh, we, want, we want to win the title again, absolutely.